Ken Larson here with serial connections for speaker drivers. The scenario will come up where you will need a serial connection as opposed to a parallel connection because of the impedance that's in the speaker driver. And now you will see the difference between the two and it makes a lot of difference when it comes down to your amplifier load if you are serial connecting or parallel connecting. So the scenario that you would be in would be that typically the amplifier here has a range of 4 to 16 ohms of load. That's what it's capable of being um, loaded with. That means that you need to make sure that you don't get underneath the 4 ohm load. Now, let's say you had two 4 ohm speaker drivers, like from a car stereo, and you have an amplifier like that. Well, if you're parallel connecting it, well then you will have a 2 ohm load, and that's bad. That's really bad for the amplifier. So that's where serial connecting comes in. So if you have two 4 ohm speakers with a serial connection, you will get an 8 ohm load and you're inside the safe area for your amplifier. Serial connecting, let's do it. So plus from the amplifier and connect it to plus on the first speaker driver. Then you take your minus from your amplifier and connect it to the minus of the other speaker driver. Now you have two connectors. There's not connected yet. And you just connect those two together. So now the power, let's say the plus, goes into the speaker driver, into the coil, out of the minus, into the other speaker driver, through the coil, and then back to minus. That means that now they're sitting in a series. And that makes it so that your impedance, like say 4 ohm, 8 ohms, now has to be added together. So if these were 4 ohm, this will be 8 ohms now. If there were 8 ohm and you serial connected them, it will be now 16. Serial connections with speakers. Kent Larson here. Have fun with your projects out there. Bye.